this is the collector on the video, and that guy has went and done it again, and I'm going to give him some lumps. Yeah, you need to look like that. I'm going to give you some lumps, mister. Look at that. He went to some the auction in Piggott, but at least he bought some tars. He could have bought some new ones, but I guess this is all he could afford. But he said they fit his truck, so... We'll see. They still could be Kablowies. And would you believe that Bozo, yes, that Bozo right there, bought another one of them their things that don't work? I bought. I hey, want, you're not doing this video. I'm griping. I know. But I always wanted one of these hot water power washers. Uh-huh. And they're about $5,000 uh -huh. maybe. Uh-huh. And I bought half a dozen of them, all of them the coils is bad. But I don't pay them up nothing for them. I bought this one right here, I paid ten dollars for it. Uh-huh, and that is ten dollars too much well, to just be, uh, throw it out in the yard. Well, look at the size of that electric motor. Oh, does it work? Well, I don't know, but electric so, motors... So it's iffy, iffy. No. <laughs> Electric motors right now is bringing 15 cents a pound. That motor weighs 100 pounds. So the motor will bring $15. I only give 10 for it. Oh, dang. So, I okay. Can't no, I don't think you're going to get your tailgate open. Oh, shoot. Dad gummit. What's that electromagnet? Oh, that's part of Electromagnet. Magic. Magic. Electromagic. Electromagic. Pressure muscle washer model something. Well, if you it. squirt yourself, will you look like that? He don't look too I, bad. I don't know nothing about it. It's probably Will you just, get a hard hat? It's probably, will you have hair under that hard hat? <laughs> I don't know. But see these wheels, these cars right here I got four like this. Yep, got four like this. And I had to pay fifty dollars for four cars. And you, wheels, and you want to know what's fit on this truck. You want to know what's funny? He's been all over the place, and right there's his spare. I got the spare. <laughs> I was confident because they had a good spare. It's eight hole wheel. It won't fit this truck yeah. anyway if I had a flat. See, and here's it, some kind of tar it machine. A six hole wheel, and you bought another tar machine. Yeah, that makes seven. Why? Well, that pressure washer makes seven. This makes seven tar machines. You got to keep things evened up. Why? Just cause, that's just the way things work. And up in there, yeah. right there's the bottom of it, there's another one of them rigid pipe vices. Yeah, how many of them you got now? This is the third one. I had four, but I give one to Randall Jr. and he took it with him, so okay. now I'm back to three again. Oh. See, this makes three again. I had three, I give him one, that made yeah. me two, and then I bought I know, two. I'm thinking but about crying. It was only $7.50. Okay, seven dollars and fifty cents. And this tar machine was only twenty-five bucks. Twenty-five bucks. Yeah. But and why? Those, can I ask you something? All told, if you don't use them, why buy it? All told, there's twelve. I mean, if I bought a washer, I'm gonna dad gum use a washer. There's twelve tires in here mounted on wheels. Uh huh. And then there's two tires that ain't got any. This one and that right there, max set. Uh huh. 16's not on a rim. So how, 14 towers. How do you know they're match set? Because they're bald? No. You can see they got a little tread. How do you know There's which way they. Tires. How do you know if they were on the front or the back or the middle? There's 14 towers, a tar machine, a, a pressure washer. Uh huh. Oh. Pipe bass. Yeah. No, I'm get it out, but this right here. Oh, you can't uh, get that stuff. Gooseneck to fifth wheel adapter. A gooseneck. Whoa. And I think I give five dollars for it. I, well, I paid a hundred and forty-four dollars and fifty cents for everything. I give seven dollars and fifty cents for that pipe bass. Shapers. Well, this in here's got a plug. Oh, that's your. That's my spare. <laughs> that was my spare. That's your spare. <laughs> <laughs> you like that plug in it? No, I'm just, I'm just laughing. Remember, that's the one we zeroed yeah, up. Yeah. And you said it's got a leak right there, so I plugged it. Yep. That's funny. I said, I ain't going to break that down, Patch. I'll just plug it. I thought right. it was one of your tires you bought. No. I was just laughing. These, these are the ones I bought. I know. Here. Grandma's. That, grandma's. That's, they ain't as old as the tires I've been running. 
So Jesus. This will just... last me a little while, maybe. <laughs> well, you can't oh. buy one new tar for I'm this not, truck for $140. I don't mean to laugh. What? I don't mean to laugh. Yeah, you do. Just, yeah, I do. The last thing she told me when I, they looked at her and Zach looked at the picture page, they said, don't be bringing home any more of them worthless pressure washers. I did. So I, when this was going for real cheap and they couldn't get a bid, I said $10 and bought it. <laughs> and I said, oh, I gotta bring that in. I ain't got one this model. Hey, you ain't got a nod on the other side of your head either. But even if the coils ain't no good, if you can make that motor work and that pump work, you got a good high pressure washer. I can't be a <laughs> But anyway, I didn't do nothing but the auction, but flap my jaws and walk around and stick my arm up. I don't give out. I'm really? Yeah, I'm hard. <laughs> Same auctioneer. Same auctioneer as what? Yeah, did that auction where I bought the 20 chainsaws for 95 bucks. Oh no. So he no. remembers you. So be ya. No. Be ya. No. Now Debbie gets to unload all this. Uh, give me a few minutes and I'll get some gas and matches. Yeah, uh, some of them have been tested and proven pretty good. I'll have it uh, uh, unloaded in a jiffy. Well, that's the first time I'd ever been to that particular auction. Uh-huh. It was a Spring Pigot, Arkansas FFA auction. I know. You missed the Pocahontas one. I missed the Pocahontas one. <laughs> I love you, Cupcake. Forgot all about I it. love you, Cupcake. Yeah, I said, I I'm wondering if they're going to have that sale. And Debbie said, Dad, that last me? week I <laughs> seen some signs for it. <laughs> no, I didn't tell him. And I wasn't about to tell him. I didn't know about. What? What was going on? They tell me there's going to be an eclipse or something. Yes, the eighth. And that was at the fairgrounds over there, and they said that they had to get everything out of there because they done rented them that fairgrounds out for people going to come from all over the, from who knows where, and pay so much for a little parking space to watch the eclipse. You're kidding. No. And I said, well, hell, I don't know. Well, that's what you get for not watching oh, the news. Oh, at Pigot? At Pigot? Yeah. Wow. Well, I guess it's going to be a total eclipse. I don't know. I don't know. I... I'll just invite my boyfriend over, and it'll be so dark you won't be able story. to see nothing. I got a tar story. You, did you hear me? <laughs> Back years ago, when me and Debbie hadn't been married very long, and little Randy was a baby, uh huh. We was down <laughs> South Arkansas, and we pulled over down there to Judge Sonia, a little ice cream place, and we all got ice cream. Uh huh. And I happened to notice water dripping under that. It was in that old F600 Ford truck. Uh huh. My buddy Jim was with us. Yep. And I noticed water on the ground under that truck, dripping. Yep. yep. Open hood and a water pump was going out. Oh, so no. So it ain't very far from Judd Sonia to Bald Knob. Mm -hmm. So we drove on up to Bald Knob, and I had a screwdriver, but I didn't have any other tools. And there was a parts store there. And this Saturday afternoon, it was closed. But we could hear a guy running a garden tiller. We went around behind a building. This guy lived there, and he had a nice garden, and he was gardening, and we told him we needed to buy a water pump. So we opened the parts store and we bought a water pump and I bought a nine sixteenths and a half inch wrench off of him. He told, showed me where I could get water and we was gonna change that water pump right there and I commenced to change that water pump. And we just about done and all of a sudden, this big bunch of radial tires come <laughs> out the plate glass window of this building and scatters out there right where we're at. I know. <laughs> yeah, so we went around there. The guy was still working his garden. They said, you know, I don't know how it happened, but that plate glass window broke, and there's tires all over out there. And he walked around there, and he'd stacked up a bunch of new radial tires, and he had them stacked about 20 high in there, big piles of them. And somehow one of them stacks got to leaning and it fell over and hit that gas window it was about a half inch thick and broke that wind out. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just weird that it happened when we was there at the time. Yeah. 
But that's when Bunny Rabbit Radio yeah. Park yeah. first come out. I'm gonna show you. What when was no, that? You, you go look at it. When was that? About 1973. Yeah, that. Uh, no. Ben was born in 74, so... It'd be 75 then. Yeah. Because he was a little baby. He'd born in January, and it was warm weather. Mm hmm He wasn't yet a year old, so 75. But anyway, that guy sold me a water pump, and I put it on that old truck. The bolt holding water pump, the motor was 9 sixteenths, and the bolt holding a fan blade to the front of it and the pulley on was half. So I bought two cheap wrenches from him and a water pump. Yeah. Probably about 25 or 30 dollars at that time. It'd be a hundred now. But anyway, we were still having fun. And I looked on YouTube and they said we have made two dollars and ninety six cents. Yay, some people so keep we are it monetized. coming. Keep it coming. Mm -hmm. Like and subscribe and comment below. Yep. If I can get David to load all these tires. I told you how I would load it. You stand back and I'll throw. Where's your can of gas at? <laughs> Gasoline matches, huh? Uh huh. Oh. Uh. Or a cigarette lighter. Okay, what's in there? Oh, you're showing me where the gas is. Huh? <gasps> Ain't got no tan right. But there's gasoline. <laughs> gas gauge don't work on this truck, so you always keep five gallons of gas so it runs out, you got something to pour it. Oh, in. yeah, baby. It's not fun having to walk. But anyway, now I can carry four or five <laughs> spares. <laughs> oh, shoot. Goodbye and good luck, you folks. <laughs> Thank you all, and he got up while I was still in bed sleeping. I never even knowed he was gone, that stinker. So anyway, this is his treasures. <laughs> and y'all have a nice weekend and happy Easter to y'all tomorrow. And Bye. thank y'all for watching. And please like and subscribe and, and comment below. Like and subscribe. That's what Eddie says. Bye.